Hi, it's Bumbleberry, and we're back with Threads of Fate. I just happened to be walking around, enjoying, you know, destroying things on the mountain, and Rue is at the top. What is he doing here? Mint. Haven't seen you for a while. What are you doing here? I came to see Wyliff. I asked for his help to go to Valen's fortress. He gave me a pair of dragon wings. What? I owe it to you. Where are my dragon wings? What do you mean? You got mad at me, remember? You said I should never give up if I really want to save her. I don't remember telling him that. <laughs> well, you did. I came here because of what you told me. If it weren't for you, I would have given up for sure. I'm okay now. With these dragon wings, I'm going to go to Valen's fortress. Jeez! I'm going to go save Claire. Oh, what, do you want to take me with you? Hey! Hold on, Rue! Idiot. Thanks, Mint. I'll never forget you. Rue! Idiot. Okay, I'll just watch you fly off into the distance. Oh, <laughs> she looks so sad. Dang. He has conquered his doubts. Hmm? Nothing can stop him now. <laughs> now we're gonna give you up. Not even the highest mountain. Um, yes. You wish to tell me something? No, not really. <laughs> you cannot hide it. I gave Rue the dragon wing and you wish for something as well. Hmm? Yeah, do you want to fly me up there? Hey, if you want to give me something, be my guest. <laughs> Maybe this will interest you. <gasps> what is that? Is it more magic? What is this? Magic from the earliest times. <gasps> really? Magic? I'll take it. Not yet. This is a powerful magic. It guards the strong, but destroys the weak down to the spirit. Jeez. Aren't I strong? If you lack strength, you cannot have it. I have witnessed senseless death for a thousand years. I do not wish another. Another year or another death? Because I gotta tell you, the polywogs have been in trouble. <laughs> Here we go again. I have to fight you again, right? Otherwise, you're not gonna give me the magic. <laughs> Precisely. I must test you again, prove your worth, and you shall receive it. Didn't you already see my goals and stuff? I'll prove it. You ready? Cool. Wacha! Alright, no problem. I'm feeling confident. Come on down here, buddy. Oh, I guess you don't really like that. Ow. Rude. I don't know if this is the right one to use. Will you please? Will you please stop being a jerk face? Nope. Oh god. Now I have wind tunnels to worry about. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, well the new goal has just been Oh my gosh, to just fireball and run away and fireball and just like stand in still until he shoots another fireball at me. And I still almost died. You were splendid, Mint. Yeah, you did kill me once, but that's okay. You have grown stronger. Well, when you beat me up, that's what happens. <laughs> I know. I trust you will master this magic. It is yours. Take it. Thanks, I'll put it to good use. Acquired Hyper. I will look forward to your world domination, Mint. <laughs> I plan to leave this mountain once you achieve it. I will retire by your side. Complete your conquest soon. Understood. You can count on me. I'm gonna zoom past all the obstacles and get the relic. Look how excited she is. I believe in you, Mint. And how often do you get a dragon to offer to help you with world domination? I expect good tidings. I'll let you know. See ya. You kicked my butt, man. When are you going to come out? Hello, Wyleth. It's been a while. Oh my gosh, Mel. What are you What are you doing? You've grown old. I have lost count of your years. She doesn't look it. You don't look so young either. You're like a sweet old grandpa now. Mint and Rue are like your grandchildren. <laughs> you abuse me. Wahaha. I love dragon laughs. They're so cute. Much time has passed. 
Like the aeons, our time will pass soon. That's why you're letting them handle everything. It is their time now. The world is theirs to destroy or protect. You feel the same way. That is why you helped them. Mm -hmm. You still see through everything. I have known you too long. <laughs> I wonder if they'll be all right. We must trust them. That is all we can do. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thanks for the magic. Please don't fight me again. Hobbs had an unusual item. It was a ball packed with fire magic. Well then, let's see what everybody has. Excuse me. Ooh, I need a lot more money. I might have to challenge what's his face like 8,000 times. Well, before I buy anything here, I am gonna go and check on that stuff. Hey, what can I do for you? What do you have? Nothing. I'm just sad you had an unusual item with fire magic in it. Are you serious? There is nothing in here that I have not seen already. People are lying to me. It's okay. Ready for the legend weight dairy stuff? Oh, you're carrying some unusual items. Wait, those may in fact be legendary items. Uh-huh, you mean this old short? Sword. Sword, shield, and helmet? I suppose most people would see them as a sword, shield, and helmet, but they are not what they seem. That sword is actually a kitchen knife, the shield is a frying pan, and the helmet is a pot. Who would have thought? <laughs> what you are holding is not battle gear, but kitchenware. Dang, I thought they might be worth something. I'll hold on to them for now if you wish. I could really use those items. Yeah, why not? Thank you. Now I'll be able to prepare my special dishes. My monster dishes are very nutritious. I'll serve them to you for free for now on. Of course, you'll have to provide me the ingredients. Do you want something to drink? What's today's special? Polywog souffle. I need 50 polywogs. I don't have the ingredients. Rats. Okay, I'll be back. I think you can be protected by that back. I don't think so. They're trying to play like hide and seek with me. Aha! Oh wait, I can actually go back here. <gasps> I am in the midst of the Polywog Central. I'm gonna have a delicious souffle. Aren't you guys excited? You need to be part of my snack. This is why targeting would be great. Oh man, they can jump high. I can't even jump that high. How do you guys jump? You're just floating in air. Do you like let go of some molecules? Do you like fart and get rid of the extra stuff? I don't know. Oh my gosh. The saber tooth was going through the uh, the block. Come on, get me! Come on! I bet you can do it. Well, oh no! Plan backfired. Plan backfired. What? I you told me today's special. You told me today's special. Where's the pie box? Now you want fire blooms? I'm telling you, you're a big jerk and I hate you. Ready for this? Oh yes, that was epic. Okay man, don't let me down this time. Okay, fire blobs, you're still on fire blobs. Okay, we should be good. Here I go. I had a minced fire. Okay, my health went up by 10. Do you have anything else on today's special? Do I have gudans? I don't even know what those are. Whatever. Anyway, so you guys see, I can feed him, I can feed him stuff. He will feed me stuff with what I give him. And then maybe I should sell these remaining babies. I like have nothing left, except for a million polywogs. <laughs> All right, let's go earn some monies. Oh, oh, he's being nice to me. Not eating my face. Hey Mint, good timing. I want to ask you something. Yeah, what is it? You're dying to get up to that fortress, aren't you? Huh? How did you know? Because he was not helping us at all. <laughs> That's easy. I just read your heart. 
I figured that big thing in the sky would get your heart rattled. But I bet you're scrambling to find a way up there. Yeah, kind of, sort of. Oh my gosh, did he modify the Pinto? I have no idea how I'm going to get up there. Hmm. I can get you there. What? My baby can fly up there easily. Really? I thought the Pinto was a boat. <gasps> Why do you keep calling it Pinto? Pulsar Inferno Typhoon Omega. Pulsar Inferno Typhoon Omega. I can tease him forever with that. <laughs> my baby isn't just some vehicle that goes over water. In flight mode, it can fly faster than the wind. Dang, I didn't know your ugly boat could do all that. <gasps> it's not a boat, damn it. Okay, okay. So, with your machine, we can fly there, right? No. What? <laughs> it needs some stuff before it can fly. Why didn't you mention that sooner? Okay, what does it need? Come here, I'll show you. This feels like a setup. Is he gonna stab me? Is he gonna rob me? Well, the joke's on you, because I have no money. <laughs> you see those bright orbs? Yeah, I see five of them. They're called cannon orbs. They're some kind of magical item. Like I told you before, the cannon orbs are the source of my baby's power. They juice up the sorceress driver to propel her. So the cannon orb is your vehicle's fuel. Yeah, you can say that. More cannon orbs give my baby more power. It needs only five orbs for cruising over water, but to fly it needs ten. Oh, no wonder it can't fly. There's only five. Exactly. Dang, we need to get five more to fly. What a bummer. I guess I have no choice. All right, I'll go look for the cannon orbs. Where would they be? Go find the cannon orbs. That's the only way you're getting up there. Where? Oh, that guy is supposed to have some, right? Um, what's his face? The guy who did not have anything when I first went over there. I guess I needed to talk to Rod first. But now that I'm, how broke am I? Pretty broke. I have 200 bucks. That won't even buy me a milk, I don't think. <laughs> but I have an upgraded bracer. Yay. Okay, big guy. Hey, is that? <gasps> it's a cannon orb. Wow, I can't believe a crappy place like this had it. I wonder how much it is. Ooh, there's a price tag. 100G. Yes! Hey, you don't have enough. Huh? It says 100G for the cannon orb. No siree. I would never sell something so valuable for 100G. Look at that price tag again carefully. What is that puny letter between the 100 and the G? I can't read it from here. It's an M. Oh, million? What does that stand for? Yes, it costs a hundred million G. What? A hundred million? Great deal, eh? I'm having a major sale right now. What? You're crazy. I can't pay that. And she's a princess, man. You don't have to buy it. I get plenty of customers. Oh, you big geezer. So, what'll it be? Put on an act. All right, I can do this. Oh, Daddy, I'm sorry. You're in so much pain and I can't do anything for you. I can't get the cannon orb that can heal your cancer. Daddy, please forgive me. No, I can't let him die. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I wonder what's for dinner. How can you ignore me like that? My dad's going to die from cholera. You said cancer. Oops. Dang it. How could I be so stupid? I wasn't fooled by that silly act anyway. If you want it that bad, why don't you go borrow some money? It'll be a lot easier. That's right, huh? Who can I borrow from? Rue doesn't have that kind of money. Bell's in debt up to her ears. Klaus's shop hardly gets business. I don't even know what he sells. What does he sell? Rod, he can't even feed himself. <gasps> There's no one. Oh, yeah. I know who I can go to. Hey, I know someone who can pay for me. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. She's going to make Maya. Okay, then. I'll just send the bill over to that party. All right. Well, I believe that completes our deal. On second thought, I'd better collect a deposit from you. Pay me 5,000 G and I'll give you the cannon orb. Ugh, he's not a sucker after all. Well then, I guess I'm out adventuring once again. Plus, that's only one cannon orb. Where do I find the rest of these awful, ridiculous things? Please tell me. I mean, I have my own juice after talking to What's-His-Face, but maybe um, Mel has some? Is that possible? Right, we can just take a star piece and use that to power us up. 
I wonder if she's gone, though, now that we've already fought What's-His-Face. We still have a lot of magic we need to unlock. I don't know how we're going to do that. What's up? Play in my world, giant balls. Oh, God. They're so cute. They're just toddling towards me like these little adorable things. Like little mushrooms ready to sprout. I love it. I love it. Oh, that's my bed. Oops, oops, oops. I know. I know. 300. Come on. I can do it. Yes. They're so cute with their little prancing and their horrible heads. That's it. That's all I got. Man, these guys are pushy. What do you want? Come in. You gonna give me anything? You're back rather soon. Thank goodness you're here. My dear sister, we must talk. About what? With Mel's help, I was able to learn more about Valen's relic. About the Dew Prism. That relic is far too dangerous. You must stay away from it. What do you mean, far too dangerous? Tell me. Better yet, why don't you tell me what Dew Prism is? so I can rewield it to rule the world. All right. Dew Prism, in essence, is a crystal formed by trickles of force. Hmm. Throughout this world, throughout this universe, there are forces everywhere. Forces in the heavens and earth, the suns and the stars, time and life. The universe is made up of these forces. We're only a microscopic part of it. Our powers cannot match even a trickle of these forces. Trickles of force? The dew of heaven and earth, the mist of time and life. Valen gathered every force in the universe for his creation. They were condensed by and somehow crystallized into a prism. That's how Valen made the dew prism. So he used life itself? Essentially, dew prism constitutes all the forces in the universe. It is the ultimate power in this universe. Wow, it's hard to believe such a thing exists. <laughs> I just thought of... Owen Wilson's, wow, <laughs> that's, what my, that's what McMasquerade does all the time. Sorry, I just imagine Mel, like, reacting to that. It's right before our eyes. Valen and Dew Prism exist somewhere inside that fortress. Dollmaster is probably there as well. If only I'd seen what a traitor he was sooner. Oh, I can't stand myself. You seem pretty dependable, but I guess you're not. <laughs> Thanks, Mint. You just know what to say. You totally got played by Dollmaster. If I were there, none of this would have ever happened. Perhaps you're like mines. You're just as sly as he is. <laughs> I'm just not naive like you. I would have kicked that freak out a long time ago. Oh, yeah. There's something I wanted to ask you. What is it? It's about Dollmaster. Did he have anything to do with me getting kicked out two years ago? Yes. In fact, he played a big part. He told me that the future of East Heaven would not be secure if you remained in line for the throne. <gasps> oh! So Dollmaster did see you as a threat. Well, obviously, has he seen me? Chasing you out was part of his plan. Yeah, he poisoned you with that nonsense and made you kick me out. Hair flip. Super fabulous. He probably knew you'd leave if, you, if your right to the throne was taken away. Hey, that means... I've been homeless because of him. I went through hell the last two years, all because of him. Well, and your own selfish nonsense. That darn brewery so dead. It's good to see you spirited, but just how do you intend to get him? Isn't this Dollmaster already at Valen's fortress? Probably. Have you thought of a way to get up there? Of course. I've got it all planned out. <laughs> Why do you think I came here? I was wondering if you know where I can get a cannon orb. Cannon orb? I had one earlier. What happened to it? The Popple Pearls really wanted it, so I gave it to them. Are you kidding me? I just went through all these games, and now I have to do it again! Ah, you're driving me crazy. They probably still have it. Why don't you go ask them? Oh, brother. Fine. The Dew Prism is getting closer and closer. Nothing can stop me. Once I get up there, the Dew Prism will be mine. Wait a minute. Are you still going after the Dew Prism? You bet. Why else would I want to go to Valen's Fortress? Of course I'm going there to beat up Dollmaster, too. 
Weren't you listening to what we said? The dew prism is very dangerous. You must not come into contact with it. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I'm worried about this world, not you. My goodness, you're giving me such a headache. Hey, if we don't do something fast, Doll Ma Master's gonna get the relic. We can't let that happen. Wouldn't you rather see me get the relic than him? That's a very tough call. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fair enough. Mel, please do something. Please stop my sister. Sorry, but I'll pass. Your sister won't listen to me either. That's right. There's no way I'm stopping now. I'm gonna get the relic for sure. After that, it's gonna be world domination. This is a nightmare. <laughs> I just love how the, the little cat things look angry. Or they're really happy. Are those like squishy happy eyes? Mint, you'll probably never change. And I hope you never will. Your spirit is really something. Like you said, you can't stop now. You'd better fulfill your dream or else. Thank you, Mel? Poof! <gasps> what? Did you just have a switch bodies? Jeez, what was that? Oh my gosh, I totally thought it would have been a Freaky Friday. For luck. Good luck, Mint. I'm rooting for you. Thanks. I'll conquer the world before you know it. Okay, I'm going now. I'll see you when I see you. When is that going to be? Bye, Mel. Take care of Maya, all right? <laughs> just like abandoning my sister. Just like, oh, I'm sorry. Did you kick me out of the house? Then you can stay here and deal with the mushroom freaks. It's hard to believe you two are siblings. No one can stop her now. What's going to happen to this world? Well, I guess we'll find out. Give it to me. Cannon Orb. We have Cannon Orb. You want Cannon Orb? You must play. Cannon Orb, yep. I know I need to play. I need to play on this one again. This is just torture. You gave me another bronze coin, guys. I need a cannon orb. Oh, I only need to play once? You played well, thanks. I give you cannon orb. What? Can you give me more stuff? I thought I was trapped there forever. It took like half my MP. There's my beautiful carrot. Though I don't know if I need you yet. We'll see where we end up. What? I thought that the giant fish would have a golden thing and it has nothing. I did all those stupid puzzles for nothing. I'm a failure. Hey man, go find the cannon orbs. That's the only way you're getting up there. Dude, I found a bunch of them. Dog, help me sniff them out. <laughs> Something in this cave? Hmm? All right, after pawning most of my goods, I can pay the 5,000 Gs for the cannon orb. All right. She's totally charging her sister. Are you gonna buy something? I don't know what I could possibly buy from you. Your stuff is way too expensive. Dang, it's gonna be a huge bill. <laughs> Who did you give it to? Thanks, Maya. Oh no. Maybe Klaus has some ideas where the other golden orb could be? No. Looking for the cannon orb? I think Klaus might have one. Why does like everyone randomly have one of these all of a sudden? Hi, Mint. Hey, Klaus? Yes? Have you heard of a magical item called a cannon orb? Cannon orb? Hold on a second. Da -da -da. Look at him, he's walking like a pro now. No more injured. Is this what you're talking about? Yes! 
But yeah, that's it. Oh, Klaus, you're the best. Can I have it, please? Sure, you can have it, but what do you need it for? To go to Valen's Fortress. Okay, gimme, gimme. Valen's Fortress? What is that? Oh my gosh, girl, do you not see the giant floating thing in the sky? Valen's Relic Dew Prism is there. <gasps> Dew Prism? Why, <laughs> Why are you going to prison? <laughs> She's so stupid and cute, I can't hate her. So this Dew Prism is the greatest relic? That's what I heard. Hmm. I see. Tell me, how did you feel when you saw that fortress? <gasps> I was super excited. Just the thought of the relic being there is so exciting. You're incredible. Huh? I got scared just by looking at that thing. I'm not trained in the art of magic, but I can tell we're dealing with something very dangerous. Are you crying? What are you doing? I've spent years looking for the relic, but I'm scared now that it's within our sight. I envy you. I wish I had your strength and courage. You're really an amazing person. I know. <laughs> I think so too. Thanks, but it's no big deal. I just want the relic really bad, so I'm going after it. Once you get it, you're going to conquer the world. That's right. I love how everyone's like just helping her. Like, yeah, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> I can't imagine what this world would be like if that really happened. I'm sure you would make it very fun for all of us. Here you go. Yay, thanks class. I owe you big time. Good luck, Mint. Don't worry about Prima. I'll get him back. Yeah, I was gonna say, everyone does owe her. Like, why are they charging me $5,000? I just defended their town from being burnt to the ground. I know you will. Geez, I have so many things to take care of, but with my strength and courage, it should be a piece of cake. We're counting on you. Hey, no problem. That was cute. Thank you, Klaus. Emotional music. Gee, Mint is really great. Yeah, she reminds me of your mother when she was young. What? Really? Mom was like that? She sure was. She was always going full speed. I was gonna say, did she want to take over the world and then ended up just settling with a scholar type? Giacomo? Excuse me, madam, I hear we have a lot in common. Oh, well, he doesn't anymore. I took it. Oh, hey, there's Mel and Duke. Mint, what are you doing here? Are you here for a drink? Um, I like literally have gotten fruit and milk, so no. <laughs> hey, have you guys ever heard of a thing called the cannon orb? Yeah, I've heard of it. Really? Do you know where I can get one? What do you need it for? Well, give me your cannon orbs. Jeez, you're really going to that castle in the sky? Of course, the relic is there. You're nuts. After all that we've been through, you still want the relic? I think your greed alone is enough to conquer the world. Why are you always picking a fight? What do you think, milady? Should we tell her about the cannon orb? Yeah, why not? We just happen to have one. Really? Yeah, we use it for our hexagon. We take it out of the hexagon and let you borrow it. Wow, you've changed, Belle. But under one condition. Actually, it's more like a request. What is it? What do you want? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You have to help Rue. Huh? What do you mean, help him? Obviously, his whole thing with Claire. Rue is so serious about saving Claire. He's always down like he's blaming himself for what happened to her. I think he's going to fall apart soon. Hmm, I noticed too. But it's not just him. I've had a pretty tough past too. You can admit like that because you're strong. Rue is different. He's not that strong. It's sad, but I don't think we can do any more for him. <laughs> Dang, so what am I supposed to do? That's for you to figure out. I have a feeling you'll be able to help him. Ugh, how irresponsible. Hey, it's the least you can do. We've got to take apart the hexagon for you. Hmm? What? If you say no, you can forget about the orb. Okay, fine, I'll try. <sighs> Good. Well, that was actually very generous of them. Duke, let's go. Yes, milady. Where are you guys going? We're gonna go remove the orb from the hexagon. We'll deliver it to Rod for you. Um, okay. I guess, help Rue, what am I supposed to do? Oh, forget it. Who cares, I'll think about it later. All right, let's go check it out. If they're gonna go down by Rod, I might as well too. But I think I needed five? I've only gotten like three, and I, trust me, 
Trust me when I say I have tried going through the other dungeons and there was nothing. I just fought a bunch of hedgehogs and stuff for nothing. Hello? I'm frozen. Hello? Puppy? Oh, hi, Belle. What's going on? Are you still looking for cannon orbs? Yep, I found three so far. I came here to bring the orb we owe you. We've already had five, so I guess that makes it nine. One more to go. Hmm? Where's Duke? You guys are always together. Except for when you killed one. <laughs> I shouldn't say killed, KO'd. Knocked out. Rod's not here either. I wonder where he went. No one was here when I got here. I think they went to look for a cannon orb together. That's weird. Are they friends or something? Maybe they are. I heard they fought a few times. Oh, what do you know? How long have they been gone? I've been waiting over an hour now. I can't believe he left me here. He's really gonna get it when he gets back. Ooh, where did he go? <laughs> Jeez, Belle, you're that worried about Duke? What? Well, what made you say that? Why would I worry about that big fool? He's just good for pouring my drinks. Mm-hmm, she's worried to death. It's so obvious. Hmm? Are they here? Hey! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, lady. I hope I didn't worry you. Oh my gosh, ouch. Where were you? I've been waiting here forever. Next time you take off without my permission, I'll break you in two. I'm sorry. <laughs> this poor guy. Take it easy, Belle. It's my fault. I asked him to come out with me. We busted our butts to get the cannon orb. I tell you that Fiery Mountain was pure hell. Are you kidding me? I went through Fiery Mountain, like, twice. Dang, you're badly injured. And poor Duke is like, I'm dying in the background. <laughs> this is a disgrace. Rod the Bladestar getting beat by some old dragon. Give Rod a hand, and I'll tell you what happened later. Okay, I guess we can do that. Is it gonna be nighttime? Is that what we're doing now? S'mores. There's an ancient dragon called Wyleff in Raging Mountain. After I learned that this dragon had a cannon orb, Rod and I went there to challenge him. You have a giant hammer. Oh, that's the tornado thing. Yeah, he can fly. That's probably not gonna hurt him. Prove your worth if you want the cannon orb. Ugh. Yeah, you just didn't move out of the way of that at all, did you? <laughs> My powers are far beyond yours. The fight is meaningless. Be gone, and I will spare your life. I'm not going anywhere. You want me gone? You're going to have to beat me. You imbecile, you shall crumble into ashes. Rawr! I feel my morning breath. Yeah, that's good. Just put the hammer in front of you. Persistent fool. It's gonna take way more than that. Oh my gosh, I can't stop cowboying him. I'm Rod, the Blade Star. As long as I have heart, I'll go on forever. You pride your heart? Then I shall test it with my flame. Prepare yourself. Boom, boom, boom. Hold your dragon breath. You've got another problem coming. Hiya. We try to jump kick like, oh yeah. <laughs> Behold, Starlight Duke. That is the most amazing sprite that I've ever had to fight of anything ever. And I'm so happy it's back. You're late. Sorry, I had a hard time putting it on. I mean, I don't know how he laces in. All right, I'm ready to go hardcore. Let's get him. <laughs> you must be an entertainer, for your motives are unclear, and the cannon orb is not for yourselves. Why suffer through this fight? A thousand years in this world and you still don't know squat. In this world, it's all about heart. And world domination, apparently. Mint really taught me about heart. Watching her go after the relic alone, challenging everything in her path. You can't deny the power of it. She's crazy as hell, but she sure inspires. That's why we're here. It's time to get our hearts gone, you know? Because without heart, we're nothing. <laughs> All right, Duke, give it everything we've got. Let's bust him up. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Silly, yet amusing. That's right, the star and the hammer fighting a dragon. Show me this heart of which you speak. All right, that's awesome. Way to go, guys, you got it.
And we fought like hell. Who's talking? And Wyla finally gave us the cannon orb. What sucks is Rod really got hurt. Well, you did leave him to be, like, flamed on and he didn't move. If only I was able to change faster. That stupid suit. It's an amazing suit. Don't even. You beat me in that suit. Dang, guys. What the hell were you thinking? But it's all good. We have ten cannon orbs, so Rob's Rod's bird can fly now. I think I've totally lost my mind. Mint, you're still going, right? Heck yeah. I owe it to you guys. I'll see what I can do for Rue. Don't forget. Prima, I'm coming. There's one big problem. What? You're taking Rod's machine, aren't you? With Rod injured, who's gonna fly it? <gasps> oh man, that's right. Oh my gosh, why is Duke suddenly southern? What are we gonna do? Relax. I got the great idea. Ugh. Are you gonna let your dog fly it? Take it easy. I'm alright. For my idea to work, you're going to have to use your power. My power? You mean my act? What am I supposed to do? Isn't it obvious? Duke. You must become me! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Use your act to become me. Then you'll be able to fly the Pulsar Infernal. <laughs> Typhoon Omega. That's ridiculous. That's a great idea. But can I do it? Sure you can. I've got faith in you. My Pulsar uh, Infernal Typhoon uh, Omega is a wild ride, but with your act, you should be all right. You can take my baby beyond the skies. I'll do it. Rod, I'll become you and fly her. Okay, take care of my baby. My Pulsar Inferno Typhoon. Uh, don't say another word. <laughs> Jeez, these guys will never grow up. I'm getting all fired up. It's time to end all this. I'm gonna get the relic, whack all the bad guys, and enjoy a happy ending. You're one tough girl. Am I? I'm going to start working on my act. We'll leave in the morning. You'd better get some sleep. It's gonna be war tomorrow. Fair enough. But we will leave that for next time, because seriously, oh my gosh, I think it's the last chapter, actually, the next time when we go to Valence Fortress. So I hope you guys enjoyed the mad search for the orbs and money and stuff. And I hope you have a great day. Please comment or like in the comments below. And have a wonderful day. Stay sweet. Bye.